today's video is going to be kind of like a soft spoken slash whispering but mostly just sounds of um, bath products some soaps there's probably going to be a lot of crinkling because a lot of these items are very crinkly And this is a Eco Botanicals Chamomile and Honey Cleansing Bar. And this actually came from a hotel. And then I have a lot of soaps from Fortune Cookie Soap, so they're shaped like this. But this one comes with big fake flower which is kind of unnecessary because you can't use it in the bath but it does make good sense And then I have bath salts. They're very tightly packed in there. It's kind of hard to get the shaking sounds, but this is what it looks like. Because it is sprinkles themed. So next I have this um, bewitching bath tea. I've honestly never used a product like this where it's you put it in like a little satchel and then put it in your bathtub like tea like you're steeping it but I haven't used this product I was actually doing like a massive 
deep clean of the room and I noticed I had a lot of stuff like this that would probably make really good sounds. But a lot of these products are from Fortune Cookie Soap, this is the brand. It's like a smaller brand. Because not last year, but the year before, someone gifted me a um, year long subscription to their subscription box, and I ended up with a lot of these products because I don't take baths that often. Um, I also have this, I don't really know what to call this, it looks like a bath bomb, but it's really like a soap product. It says, hold body bomb in hand and add small amount of warm water. The bomb will start to foam. Use foam to wash with, leaving a silky soft feel to the skin. Print is very small. It definitely seems to have the texture of a bath bomb. And I think this was from maybe like the Halloween box, hence why it looks kind of weird. This is more bath salts. This one smells really good. This is from Margo Elena, is the brand. I I did have their subscription box, but I think I only got it once or twice because it was very expensive. Um, and it was mostly bath products and you can only stock up so much on bath products. Kind of sounds like sand. I'm trying to decide what to include in the video before I put it in. So there's not a bunch of soundless items. Just toss them in the tub and they release bath oil, which makes your skin really soft, but also makes the tub really slippery.
I don't think that these are really used very often. I remember when I was younger, a lot of like gift shops or small shops used to sell these, but like in the shapes of animals or flowers and things like that. And they were really popular and you could just buy like 10 of them for like a certain price. Like you would buy them in bulk, but you would pick out the shapes that you like. But I don't feel like I see them very often. <clears throat> Especially not like that. I think I got this at like TJ Maxx or a store similar to that and they were like two dollars on clearance and I I wanted them because I remembered using them as a kid. And I have used them. <clears throat> I think that if you put all of them in the bath at once, you would probably feel like um a food item being deep fried because of how oily it would be. So I would not use this many. This is another I think this is actually the first bar soap, but this is gingerbread, you can kind of tell from the outline. This is another one from Fortune Cookie Soap, this was probably from a Christmas box. I honestly haven't bought soap in like three, two or three years. Because I have so much stuff stocked up from having that subscription box. Like, if you want a lot of soap, get a soap subscription box for a year. Because you will end up with so much soap that you will have no idea what to do with it. And then you will start an ASMR channel. And you will make videos with them. It's just how it goes. So I have this, which is a hair product. It's honestly like a hair pomade, like if you can tell that texture, which, oops, which is not really a product that is too useful for me because my hair is typically like wavy curly. I think if I wore my hair straight, I would probably use this more, but I've only really used a little bit of it. It smells really good. It smells like, like apples, but like candied apples, like apple candy. This is an eye cream and the product is not stiff, it's covered in plastic. I like that sound, but I don't know if other people would. <laughs> Honestly, sounds like you're moving furniture. I don't know, I think that's a little risky. But this is Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. I don't really use eye cream. I don't know why I have this, but 
I have it. Oh no. This has like sticky. I don't know what you would call that. Like some quartz. Some cork. Some sort of adhesive on it. Because it was in a gift set that I got from someone who didn't want it. But I have a bunch of products like this, like this vanilla almond product scent, because it was this massive gift set. And then I also put this aside because I wanted to include it in the video. Um, it's not a soap at all, but it's a bubble mailer. is a computer battery in there. I just realized on the packaging it says fancy buying laptop. That's the label. is jelly soap which I hate jelly soap I think it's fun you can tell um, I think it's fun to an extent but then after a while it gets extremely annoying and like hard to use and it's working itself up into a lather in there but it literally just looks like jello I feel like you end up wasting a lot of the product when you use something like this. I'm really working it into a lather. Because a lot of it ends up just going down the drain. I'm gonna stop messing around with that. Um, is more bath salt type product. It's Alma Botanicals Luxurious Botanical Sea Salt Bath Soak. I'm afraid to open this because I think it's really loose and it's like sand texture. I think I tried to open this when I was like going through everything and it like went all over the place and into my face when I opened it. I just assumed you would know what it means. Startled. But this is a little glass container and it does look like sand. Um, I think I'll do one last item because I don't want this to be too long and my phone cut me off. This is 
Oily Blends is the brand, and it's Merlot bath salt. And this smells exactly like wine. Like a soapy wine, but like still, it smells just like wine. And it's cool. I don't think you're going to be able to see. It has like an iridescent color, but this is just, you pour it in your bathtub and you have yourself a bath. And I have another one. I think they came in a set. I don't think I've used this one. This one's Chardonnay. Um, but I use this on a night where I, on a night, on a, like the day after I had gone out with friends and been drinking and I poured this in the bathtub and I was like, this is not it. This smells too much like wine. Chardonnay. I've never used this one. It is open because I wanted to smell it. Oof. It definitely smells alcoholic. It's odd. It's not something I would repurchase, but I thought it would be like a light scent when I bought it. Okay, let's do the... I wanted to get more of this. A lot of these scents are similar. Scents. A lot of these sounds are similar. This is a bath bomb. It's very crumbly. I also have this one, which is a pizza, but it's also very crumbly, so I don't want to be too rough with that. But I honestly don't really care if bath bombs are super crumbly because you could just open it over the tub and it'll still work. And then... This one is like a... A liquid. Um... Pink Himalayan Foaming Bath by Dr. Teal's. My lips are so dry in the winter. It sucks. Because it honestly, like if I miss one night and don't put like lip treatment on, my lips hurt the next day. But I have really dry skin as it is, like, all over the rest of my body. So, it's just another thing to worry about. Um, but yeah. That's why I keep doing that. Because <laughs> it's bothering me. It's been really cold here. And not... My favorite, my favorite kind of weather. It smells weird. It smells very, um, I don't want to say soapy, but like that's the best description. It kind of smells like, um, laundry detergent. But I think this is going to be the last item because we're over, almost over 25 minutes. And I want to make sure that the whole video actually processes. But if you like these sounds, let me know and I will bring them back. Even something specific. As long as I don't use it up by then, because I am going to use these products. I have a lipstick. Or I think this is like a lip treatment. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but if you like this video, let me know. 
if you like a specific item let me know i'll bring it back um i do have some other soaps and products in here but they're the sounds are mostly going to be repeats because they're so similar but anyway i hope that you like this video and if you have any requests let me know good night